everyone, I'm Vicky, welcome to my channel. If you are new, please hit that subscribe button. If you are already part of my little sub family, thank you so much. So today's video is just a chatty life update and a bit about my channel. I feel as if like you guys need an explanation of where I've been um, because I haven't been uploading for like over a month and it's just because I've been super busy and when you fall out of the habit of recording, editing, uploading, it's sort of difficult to try and bring that back into my routine. Um, so yeah, I just wanted to have like a sit down video, have a good chat to you guys and just let you know what's been happening. So I'm going to kind of go back to the update, like life update chatty video that I did back in March um, and just go over a few things and tell you what has happened with, with stuff that I mentioned in that video and kind of let you know where I'm at now. So I did end up reaching um, 300 subscribers, um, which I am very grateful for, so thank you very much. Um, but due to me not uploading, I've ended up losing subscribers from that. But, you know, it's totally fine. If I want to be a really good content creator, then I need to put the time and effort in. So, I totally understand people dropping out because I'm just not providing anything for you to watch. Um, but I do appreciate the 299 of you that have stayed around. Um, so yeah, when I do get up to 300 subscribers again, I will be doing a subscriber giveaway. Um, just to show you guys that I do really appreciate you and thank you very much for the support. I also mentioned in the last video that I was um, in training for a half marathon and that running was a big part of my life at the moment. Um, I completed the half marathon on the 12th of June and I ended up getting myself a personal best or whatever it is that they say. Um, I completed it in 2 hours 24 minutes and 30 seconds which is really good for me considering I felt as if my training wasn't as good as what it should have been and I feel as if I was carrying a lot more weight than I had previous years. I'm really happy with what I managed to achieve and I do believe that is from the support that I had around me. All of Dan's side of the family were there to support me on the day and I couldn't thank them enough for their cheering and clapping and um, little banners that they made to help me get across the line. From 15 to 20k I was really kind of struggling, I was like I just want this race to end now um, but it was a really fun day so that was the Doncaster Half Marathon and they will be doing it again next year and if you live local and it's easy enough for you to travel I do recommend it because it was a really nice route. I'm not gonna put myself forward next year to do the half marathon because it just the training does take up a lot of your time um, but I do believe that Dan will be putting his name forward so I will be taking the year out but I will be stood there supporting him next year. Um, but I am going to continue with my running. Um, I do want to do like two runs during Monday to Friday that are 5k and then either on a Saturday or Sunday doing a 10k. Um, I've just found it to be really good for my mental health. It's a time where I can just go out and just process, think about whatever I want to think about with no other interruptions. I really do recommend any form of exercise that you are physically able to do. Um, it's just going to help you so much and you're not even gonna realize the benefits until you start doing it. Sticking with fitness and exercise, um, I also mentioned to you guys in the last video that I was going to be starting an all ladies fitness group. Um, I have now completed the eight week induction to that ladies fitness class and the eight weeks were very intense. Like the exercise wasn't too intense but the commitment to go in every single week, I found that a little bit intense due to just the training that I had going off with the half marathon plus my work and yeah I'm really really pleased that I stuck to it and I completed every single week and I got to the end of the course because I've met so many wonderful ladies and that's what I intended to do. I intended to make some new friends and I have done. The ladies there are so lovely. I look forward to going to the classes. So now that I've got through the induction stage, I can now pick and choose which classes I attend, which is a lot easier on me and my schedule. But again, I don't want to lose that commitment. I want to keep going and um, maintain it into my daily routine. Um, and I am really enjoying the um, circuit sessions and I cannot wait for another hit session. Um, when I left the hit session, like I wasn't really putting my all into it because my knee was hurting but I still ended up aching in certain places so I just love having that feeling of satisfaction that I've actually done something and I can feel that my muscles have been worked out um, and so this all ladies fitness class is with Fit Rovers which is something that 
we're very lucky to have the funding for in Doncaster. So moving on to the house, um, I did mention that we wanted to decorate the landing stairs and hallway. We did manage to paint the walls. The walls need one more coat and we um, need to do the woodwork. We did set some time aside to do that, but then we ended up taking the car into the garage and during those few days where we had set time aside, the car was in the garage, then we, decided, then we found out that we needed primer for the woodwork um, so things just kind of didn't go to plan so those are jobs that are still sort of there and we need to get cracking but it's not something that we want to try and fit in throughout other stuff we want a full day to just get it done um, so yeah I really need to start booking stuff into my diary so that we actually have the time to physically get that job finished off but I have to say while the weather has been kind um, Dan has been out in the garden and he managed to make that look so much better. Um, unfortunately, we've got a garden where weeds just like to pop through and he's currently in the process of laying down some like membrane, I think he calls it, I can't remember, um, just to try and stop the weeds from coming through and him having to do the job over and over again. So while Dan does spend his time out in the garden, I'm usually stuck inside giving the rooms a really good clean. But I don't mind because I feel some satisfaction once the entire house has been totally gutted. It just makes me feel so much better. So Dan's domain is the garden and my domain is the house. As you can see by my hair, um, it does need dyeing again. The roots are coming through. I just haven't set any time aside to do this. And um, I'm currently growing it out because we have set a date to get married. So we are currently in the process of arranging a wedding. And... Um, I never really imagined myself as a bride with short hair, like throughout my life I've always had long hair. I'm just going to see how much length I can get before the day, so yeah, we'll see. Um, obviously these are different lengths because I had an undercut done, but um, yeah, it's a journey. We'll see what happens. But yeah, that's why a lot of our time has been taken up as well, just uh, viewing viewing a venue and then looking at other suppliers, sorting out bits and bobs there. Um, it feels as if we haven't really done a lot yet, but like the thought process, like thinking about things, it it, it does take up a lot of your time. Um, and that was like one of the reasons why I kept putting it off because we have been engaged for two years. Um, and I just, I just wasn't ready to start with the hassle of arranging a wedding. Um, it's not as bad as I'm making out, but it is. There's a lot that you have to think about. There's a lot that you have to sort out. And I do believe that me and Dan are doing it in the correct way that works for us. Um, and because of the wedding, we're also working extra hours at work, trying to get as much money put into the funds for the weddings, so that if there's something that we feel would just make it that little bit extra special then we don't have to worry we can't afford it and we can have it we've both discussed it and we're both kind of on the same page like we don't want to look back and regret anything um i'm pretty sure there will be some things that we may end up regretting anyway but if at this moment in time we are committed with what vision we have in mind so that is a good thing we have just come back from a lovely breakaway in the Lake District in Cumbria. Um, we stayed in Cockermouth and it was such gorgeous weather. We were so lucky um, and it was just what we needed, a nice breakaway. Um, lots of walking, we took the dog. Um, I did vlog a little bit of it but I'm not, I don't know what it is. I'm just not very comfortable vlogging in public. I prefer like sit down vlogging like this but um, I did try my best to come, to come out of my comfort zone and Dan did also vlog the holiday as well so he will have his version of the holiday going up onto his channel and I'll put my little clips together as well to go onto my channel and um, in case you would like to see that then it's there but if not then it, it'll be something that is there for mine and Dan's memories to look back on but um, yeah, we've had a lovely time away, um, so ours was a staycation, I know a lot of people are going going abroad this year because we are able to do that, um, but we'd already booked to stay in the UK and to be honest it was nice and quiet and I'm really pleased that we made that decision because it was kind of like 
less stressful, carefree sort of thing. Well, obviously, we don't have to sort out any vaccinations. We don't have to sort out any paperwork. We don't have to worry about our luggage going missing and all that business that is going on at the moment in airports. So, yeah, I, I don't know. Like, each to their own, you know. Like, we are desperate for an all-inclusive holiday. Um, but I'm pleased that at this moment in time we made that decision to just stay in the UK. It it was still a very, very wonderful holiday for us. So yeah, that's that's kind of where we've been. Like, I don't know if that sounds like I've had a lot going off because I, I have been working as well. But yeah, like, that's just where I have been for the last month or however many weeks it's been now. Um, just doing all of those things all at the same time and now I'm back and I'm ready to get stuff recorded, edited, uploaded. I'm ready to get back into YouTubing, creating content. Um, and I don't know, I think like sometimes I just need that little bit of a break. I always feel a little bit guilty. Like I know at the back of my mind I should be doing stuff, I should be doing stuff for YouTube. But sometimes it, it is nice just to have a break um, and just enjoy other things in life. I think I am just going to stick with the once a week upload just because that works for me um, but I've got lots of stuff that I will be bringing to you. Um, I've got a lot of the original stuff that I've already put to my channel. Um, like obviously I've just said about the holiday vlog so that will be coming up. Um, I've got a next haul, charity shop hauls coming. Um, recently read books which I had filmed before we went away but I wasn't really happy with what I said about it so I want to sit down and redo that video for you guys. Um, yeah, I just I just like to, there's certain standards like that I like to set and yeah, so I want to do that video again. Um, I've got snack surprise box um, to put up because that did arrive the other day. And then I've got a few new things that I want to bring to the channel too. Um, I've had them sort of in the back of my mind for quite a while. Um, they just take a bit of preparation so I am hoping to get those sorted out as well in between all of this but yeah um, I'm looking forward to getting back to uploading and um, I feel as if I've rambled on for quite a long time so this is where I'm going to end this video um, just wanted to give you guys a quick update of where I've been what I've been up to and hopefully you have enjoyed this video just let me know in the comment section down below what you guys have been up to because I do enjoy reading all your comments um, if you've watched this video till the end thank you very much don't forget to like comment and subscribe hopefully see you again soon but for now goodbye